Welcome to my SU News Channel. Harry and Meghan are slammed as two of the biggest losers in Hollywood by Industry Bible after their whiny Netflix documentary. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been named among the biggest Tinseltown losers of the year by Industry Bible, a Hollywood reporter. The magazine published its 2023 review celebrating those who triumphed and noting those who failed to hit the mark. Among the 11 chosen as having struggled were the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who were mocked for their whiny Netflix documentary, a whiny biography, spare even the title is a pouty gripe, an inert podcast. Megan's podcast, Archetypes, was dropped by Spotify in June after just one season and the firm's head of podcast innovation and monetization, Bill Simmons, labeled the couple grifters after their $20 million, 15.9 million pounds, multi-year deal ended. Their treatment by The Hollywood Reporter was far from effusive, with the publication saying the couple had fled a life of ceremonial public service to cash in their celebrity status in the States but failed to ignite. The Harry and Meghan brand swelled into a sanctimonious bubble just begging to be popped and South Park was the pin, the authors said. In March, South Park ridiculed the couple with an episode entitled Worldwide Privacy Tour, which skewered the pair for claiming to find media intrusion too intense and then seeking the spotlight. The magazine concluded, still, all the scorn and mockery beats otherwise having to attend 200-plus official royal family engagements a year, which sounds hellish. It comes as the couple's charitable foundation, Archwell, saw donations plunge by $11 million, 8.7 million pounds, in the past year, sending it into the red while its boss and their red-hand man James Holt was handed a massive 280% pay rise. The Sussexes have released their charity's annual report and a glitzy promotional film showing their good works in 2023, but it has also emerged that its finances have dived. An income tax return filed in the U.S. revealed on Monday that in 2022 donations were down to just over $2 million, 1.6 million pounds, down from $12.9 million, 10.3 million pounds, in 2021, an astonishing drop of $11 million, 8.7 million pounds. And 2021's profit of $9 million, 7.1 million pounds, has evaporated due to a lack of donations. The Archwell Foundation recorded a loss of $674,485,536,357 pounds for last year because revenue was $2 million but costs were $2.67 million. Last year there were only two major donors giving around $1 million, £795,210 each. The year before an unidentified wealthy donor gave them $10 million, but there was no repeat in 2022. It follows a tumultuous year for the couple, which saw Harry's vitriolic memoir, Spare, top the bestseller lists, but their personal popularity ratings tumble. They were also the subject of ridicule by popular televisions shows such as South Park and Family Guy, lambasted after claims about a reportedly near-catastrophic car chase in New York and lost their lucrative podcast deal with Spotify, where one senior executive labeled them asterisk 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 grifters. The couple set up their Archwell Foundation after quitting the royal family and say it is an impact-driven global non-profit that puts compassion into action which is committed to a simple but profound mission, show up, do good. The foundation employed five people, with salaries totaling $640,441, £509,285, for the year. Harry and Meghan did not take a salary. But executive director James Holt, considered the Sussex's right-hand man since Megxit, was paid $227,405 a year, £180,835, including a $20,000, £15,904, bonus. This was around a $170,000, £133,000 pay rise, up from his starting salary of $59,846, £47,641, the year before. Holt's 2021 salary did not reflect a full 12 months of work because he joined in the middle of the year, it is understood. Despite the loss in 2022, it appears that the foundation, described as a non-profit organization, still holds around $8.3 million, 6.6 .6 million pounds, in cash and assets. The charity still has reserves available and an Archwell spokesperson contested Holt's pay rise. The spokesperson said the accounts showed the charity was doing well and managed its finances aptly and would likely have millions to spend each year. High-profile foundations sometimes receive a large amount of funding in the first year which is then used over the course of several years. If a foundation already has a large amount of money in the bank this may lead them to reduce future fundraising. 
Harry and Meghan have released a video showing Archwell's 2023 impact just hours after the Princess of Wales shared a clip of herself at a baby bank with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. The royal couple shared a one-minute clip showing people and causes their foundation has helped throughout 2023. They have shared similar videos in the past, but usually not until January. This release, just hours after Kate was praised for the sweet footage of the Wales children at Ed Windsor Baby Bank, may now raise eyebrows in royal circles. Perhaps in a bid to show they are a hands-on couple, the video shows them hugging veterans, packing bags for schoolgirls in Nigeria and taking selfies with dozens of supporters. It comes as brand experts have warned of the demise of Brand Sussex following the fallout from Omid Scobie's poison penned book Endgame, which attacked the royal family and named Kate and King Charles as expressing concern about Prince Archie's skin tone before he was born. The couple were joined on the Hollywood Reporter's Loser list by Marvel Movies, the Scream franchise, troubled actor Ezra Miller and Disney. Who wants to bet Bob Iger wishes he stayed retired? Disney got pummeled in 2023, the magazine said. Elon Musk was also on the loser list, citing his tumultuous leadership of X, which has seen its value plummet in a year from the $44 billion he paid for it to $19 million, according to internal documents. Call the hellscape what you want, Elon Musk's management of the social network one that's long served as a critical promotional vehicle for studios and talent has been so disastrous it's resulted in articles speculating that the otherwise phenomenally successful businessman must be intentionally crashing the bus because nobody could be this smart and dumb at the same time, the magazine said. From alienating advertisers, U.S. revenue is down 55% since he took over in 2022, and turning off users, to retweeting anti-Semites, Musk has proved you can't be a grown-up social media boss and play the impulsive Twitter troll, you have to choose your role and it shouldn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. Top of the winners list was Taylor Swift, accompanied by Barbie creators Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig and Actors Union chief Fran Drescher. Oppenheimer director Christopher Nolan was also declared a winner, along with the Las Vegas Sphere Entertainment venue, and Silver Foxes, with the magazine noting 57-year-old Patrick Dempsey's naming as people's sexiest man alive, and the resurgence of Harrison Ford, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Sylvester Stallone. Source, DailyMail.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.